The end zone can be attached to a free zone with LiaWorks to detect the endpoint when freeze drying in flasks. Use the end zone starter kit with a 600 milliliter or larger fast freeze flask bottom and adapter. Endpoint detection indicates the end of the primary drying phase. Some samples may require a secondary drying phase to achieve your desired moisture content. You'll need a 5 16 inch nut driver to install the end zone. Attach the endpoint detection module to the right rear corner of the free zone benchtop freeze dryer, or the left rear corner for console models. Connect one end of the communication cable to the receptacle on the end zone module and connect the other end to the receptacle on the freeze dryer labeled Endpoint Detection. The silicone adapter connects a vacuum sensor to a valve port on the freeze dryer to serve as a reference sensor for the end zone. Insert a vacuum sensor into one end of the silicone adapter. Insert the other end of the silicone adapter into the valve port on the drying accessory. Turn the valve knob on the port to the vacuum position. The beveled edge of the valve knob should point toward the vacuum sensor. Connect the cable to the reference terminal on the end zone. Attach the lid to the flask containing the sample. Connect the vacuum sensor into the sensor hole of the end zone flask lid. Connect the corresponding vacuum sensor cable to one of the five numbered terminals in the end zone module. Now turn the valve knob to the vacuum position. If the end zone accessory is properly connected to the freeze dryer, the checkered flag icon will appear in the menu bar on the touch screen. Press the checkered flag to access the endpoint detection menu. Use this screen to control the settings for up to five individual flasks. Endpoint detection status is shown for each flask. Touching endpoint detection will allow you to turn it on or off for any flask. When primary drying is finished, this status will show as complete. The offset from reference vacuum shows the difference between the readings at the vacuum sensor and the individual flask sensor. This allows you to determine the level of dryness required to achieve the primary drying endpoint. You can select a value between 0.01 and 0.05 millibars. 0.01 is the driest setting and 0.05 is the least dry. To view the end zone vacuum sensor readings at any time during the process, press this icon to access the sensor screen. To find out more about your free zone with end zone endpoint detection, visit labconco.com.